Uh, what's up gents, today we're comparing Phantom 2 versus Phantom 3. We're going to do a very basic comparison. So welcome guys, what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure we have um, a phone that's fairly well charged, 85%. We want to not get any distractions or any calls during flight. What I'm going to do is put my phone onto flight mode. I've got a Phantom 3 Advanced and a Pro. I'm going to select the Advanced here for today that we're flying. And I'm going to hit camera, right? Now nothing's going to happen because my devices are not on. What I'm going to do is first switch on the controller, double tap, coming on. Okay, drone is now on. Make sure it's in a safe, secure, open flying space. Safe, secure, open flying space. All right. Okay. Wait for it to get some signal. Okay, pre-flight check. All right, I'm recording in 2.7K. I'm now going to do a 360, have a look at what the area actually might look like. My distance from the drone is 183 meters, its height at the moment is 28, its distance from me is similar to how far the controller is from me, it's 179, and its vertical speed is zero because it's simply hovering. I've just done a 360, wonderful app. Okay, what we've done is we've just done a quick circle of the plot, we're going to come back to us, I'm going to let it hover here, let's see how it goes. Okay, right now it's on the way back to me, giving it a slight thrust. Very, very nice and steady. Full control of the gimbal functions on the controller. Camera up and down. I can play back there, I can hit record on that side. I can switch modes here to expert mode, where the drone will follow me, where it will follow a set path. Various functions like that, as well as a 360 orbit, where it orbits around an object of your choice. Simple drone landing, better to catch. Okay, so here we've got the Phantom 2, which has um, a very simple remote, a lot more simpler than the 3. Um, I've had to put my own screen on with a transmitter on the drone linked up to a GoPro 4. Um, so I don't have any telemetry here. I've just got a screen telling me what the GoPro is seeing. So the biggest weakness with this is how strong the signal is and I think with line of sight I can only get about 2.2 kilometers. So with the two you've got this to do the tilt of the camera. Okay, so let's do a 360 to the left. Okay, so let's fly directly towards us as low as possible. Okay, I'm going to attempt to hover now. And you'll see without touching it, it moves quite a bit. Cool, that's the Phantom 2. I'm going to land now. Alright, guys, I'm doing a very simple handheld gimbal test, also visual fidelity test. Guys, what I'm doing here is I simply want to test what the gimbals do in various situations. So I'm on a bumpy walk, I want to see how the Phantom 2 reacts versus the Phantom 3. What I'm doing now is a camera test from a low light to sunlight. This has got a built-in gimbal, built-in camera. It's got a 23 minute flight time. You can go up to five kilometers. Awesome camera, awesome stability. This is more of a paint by numbers pick as you choose build your own system 
custom built computer putting on additions and components where you need them this is fully functional built in all in one system um, both are great systems the only problem I foresee is that the Phantom 2 can give you a bit of issues as you see now gimbal errors going a bit crazy but most importantly it loses signal from about one kilometer um, Phantom 3 you've got light bridge and um, you've got a massive flying time as well as a massive range um, I would pick the Phantom 3